Okay, so we can see this is question 11, and this is a nice algebra question. There's lots of uh, expanding and simplifying to do. So let's have a look at this one. Uh, this has asked us to expand this. So expanding the bracket means getting rid of it, rewriting the same expression, but just in a different way, without brackets. 3 times 4x is 12x, and 3 times y is 3y. So you should just get 12x plus 3y. Do the same thing for the second one, except our first multiplication is 5p times p, which gets us 5 p squared, and our second one gives us 5p times minus 3 minus 15p. So 5p squared minus 15p. Uh, now, here we go. We've got, um, this time, we've got a double bracket, so we've got to multiply 8 by everything in this bracket and y by everything in this bracket. So what I tend to do is I tend to use a grid for these. I think it's a good way of doing it. So we've got y and plus 8, and we've got y and minus 3. You can do this straight away in your head, it's not a problem. And then when I multiply each of those things, I get y times y, which is y squared, y times 8, 8y, y times minus 3, minus 3y, and I get minus 3 times 8, or 8 times minus 3, which is minus 24. When I come to put this back together, all I need to do is combine these two terms. So I get y squared, I get 8y minus 3y, which is a positive 5y, and then I get minus 24. Very similar thing for this bottom one, except we've got to remember that 2t minus 3 all squared means 2t minus 3 times by itself. So if we've got it times by itself, we can do a similar grid as we've got up there, except this time in one bracket we've got 2t minus 3, and in the other bracket we've got the same thing, 2t minus 3. So if I multiply that out, I get 4t squared there, minus 6t there, minus 6t there, and minus 3 times minus 3 is a plus 9 and then the same thing happens. I can combine these two up. We've got to be careful when we combine them. So I get that 4t squared, I get minus 6 minus another 6 is minus 12t plus 9. So hopefully these first two part A and part B are fairly straightforward, but part C and D you might need to spend a little bit more time checking and go back over, rewind and replay the grids that I've multiplied out here, check you understand how to do these.